Welcome to our tutorial on basic sketching. Click on the sketch command and the YZ plane. We're going to zoom a little. Let me expand the part body branch now. Under sketch one, we have only one branch, absolute axis with origin, which is represented by this dot and the horizontal and vertical directions. I'm going to select the Line tool from the Profile toolbar, and I'm going to create a line. Okay, what's happened here? Katia has created a geometry branch. We see one line and two supported points. By the way, here we have what's called the sketch tools. The grid function is activated. Snap to point, geometrical constraints, and dimensional constraints. It's not so important now, but I'm just pointing out that they are activated. Okay, let's create a second line. Start from this point. Now I'll create a last line which connects these two points. As we see, Katia created three lines and three points. Each point is shared by two lines. Let's exit our sketch. In sketch based features, I'm going to select the pad function. The Pad Definition dialog window opens. Here, Sketch 1 is selected. I'm going to enter 0.5 inches. Click the Tab key. Click OK. And we have our very first solid. Sketch 1 is now grayed out. That's because Katia has automatically put it in no-show mode. Now, I'm going to double-click on Sketch 1, and we return back to the Sketcher. Let's change our sketch a little. I'm going to double-click on Pad. As you can see, Katia has instantly updated the solid. Okay, let's go back to our sketch. As we see, our sketch profile is white, which means it's not constrained. So, I will now add some dimensional and geometric constraints. I'll select this line, and the constraint definition function and add a horizontal constraint. Here I'll add a vertical constraint. Let's move it a little. As you can see, we can still move the sketch but these two lines stay vertical and horizontal. Next, I'll select this point and control select the origin point. I will add a coincident relationship. Now, these two lines are green. That means they are constrained in space. You see that I'm still able to resize them, but this point here is not movable. I can't even grab it. Now let's add some dimensional constraints. Click this line and the constrain icon, and now you can add a dimensional constraint. Double click, enter 2 inches here, hit the tab key to preview your results and click OK. I'm going to add other constraints here. 
double click, enter three, tab, click OK. Katia has created another branch under Sketch 1 called Constraints. Now we see that we have two parallel constraints here. Parallelism, one coincidence, and two length constraints. Our sketch is now fully defined. I can't move it or grab it. But what happens if I add one more constraint? Let's say a constraint here. Now you see these two lines are magenta in color. That means the profile is overdefined. Let's delete it and exit our sketch. Katia immediately updated our solid. This concludes our tutorial on basic sketching.